Good morning and welcome all for the live session of Chill Out Zone, Grade 7. Today, the lesson is conducted by Press Chill Out. I'm going to focus on three competencies related to Grade 7. For that, I have selected a poem from your textbook, Flying. So keep your textbook ready with you. We can refer when it is needed. Pandemic has brought challenges to all our lives. Above all, students have become uneasy because they cannot continue their studies. So let us stay safe and learn online. Let us continue with our learning in a joyful way. I'm going to start a simple activity with you. Through your window. Now you can look out of your window and name two things you see. Also, listen carefully and name one sound you hear. What could you see through your window? Perhaps you might see a bird, a dog, a road a car, a cat, plants, vegetables, trees, flowers, or houses. I'm going to look out of my window and tell you what I see. Okay, I can see a bird. I can see a bird. I can see trees. I can see a bird. I can see trees. Can you tell me what you see through your window? You can use the chat box, drop me a chat so that I can read your answers. Also, at the same time, you can answer the next part. Name one sound you hear. I can hear birds singing. I can hear birds singing. Let's see how you explain what you see. I can see a bird. A bird. You are referring to only one thing. So you use the article a. Uh. I can see a bird. But here we don't have the article. We have trees. I can see trees. No article here. So remember when you say about one thing, you can use a. Uh, I can see a bird and when you say about many things, you can say, I can see trees. Good to see your answers. I can see a squirrel. I can see flowers. I can see plants. Okay, I can see a building. I can see a house. That's good. Can you name a sound you hear? Yes. I can see the birds and I hear birds singing. What do you hear? I hear the squirrel. I hear the sound of the vehicle. Good. I can hear birds singing. Yes. That's really good. Let's move to the next activity. Do you see some words? 
Also, there are some pictures. We are going to match the words with pictures. Words are numbers. There are some phrases also. They all are numbered. I'm going to read out. Balloon, frost, windy, sailing away, silvery moon. Number one, balloon. Number two, frost. Number three, windy. Number four, sailing away. Number five, silvery moon. We are going to match these words and phrases with the pictures. I will show you one example, how you can do it. Let us take the first word. Number one, balloon. I look into the pictures, yes, I see. This is the picture. Then I can type number one. Balloon. So number one goes with E. Can you type the other numbers? What numbers go with other pictures? Look at the letter. Type your numbers against the letter. Yes, I see your answers. Number two, let's see what is number two. Here, it comes number two, frost. You see frost on the grass. Little pieces of snow. Number three, windy. What is windy? Yes. When I see the pictures, you see here the trees, they are waving. Even these days you can notice a lot of winds. You experience windy nights, windy daytime even. So look at the waving trees, it is windy. Let's move to number four, sailing away. What is sailing? The boat. Boat is sailing. It is sailing away. So I'm going to type number four against B. Yes, I see your answers. They are correct. Good to see you are uh, typing your answers. Number four, B. So we have number five. But there are two pictures, A and F. An extra picture is there. Look at the phrase, silvery moon. So the picture goes, I see the moon here in picture A, then I type number five. Picture A, number five. I have completed all five numbers. Let us check. Number one, E, balloon. Number two, frost, that is C. Number three, windy, picture D. Number four, sailing away, picture B, that is number four. Number five, silvery moon, picture is A. Very good. You have completed your answers. Some have given all the answers. That's very good. Let us move to the next activity. These phrases will help you to get the idea of the poem we are going to study. Do you see a picture now? Who is there? What is she looking at? Can you make a guess? Okay, let's see what is she looking at. She's looking at the sky. My first question, who is there? 
Who is there? There is a girl. Do you see the phrase here? Down. I have started my answer with that. There is a girl. You can send me your answers in chat box as well. So our next question, where is she? Where is she? So you can ask, start the answer, she is. Where is she? She is. Yes, where is she? She is in her house. You see the girl, she is standing close to the window. She is looking through the window. She is looking at the sky. She is inside the house. She is in her house. Maybe it is her room. What is she doing? What is she doing? She is looking at the sky. She is looking at the sky. Who is there? There is a girl. Where is she? She is in her house. What is she doing? She is looking at the sky. Good. Let's move with the next. Do you see num question number four? What does she see in the sky? Do you remember what she was looking at? Yes. What does she see in the sky? How can you start answer? Look at the phrase here. She sees. What does she see? She sees. Okay. You can type your answer. Check your answer. She sees the moon, stars, and the clouds. She sees the moon, stars, and the clouds. I have three things in my answer. What I see in the sky. What the girl sees, the things are there. So I'm using the conjunction and before the third word. She sees the moon, stars, and the clouds. What time of the day is it? Question number five. It has another part. How do you know? What time of the day is it? How do you know? Can you try the answer? Drop me a chat. So I will see your answer. When you start answering, what time of the day is it? You can answer, it is. Start with your, start with your answer with it is. How do you know? You have to give a reason. Let's see how can we give a reason. It is night time because I can see the moon. What time of the day is it? It is night time because I can see the moon. The reason. The reason is given with the conjunction because. Because. It is night time because I can see the moon. I have another question for you. Do you think she's happy? Look at the girl. Do you think she's happy? Let's see. She looks happy. Or else you can say, yes, she is happy. Yes, she looks happy. And I have a reason again. Because she has a pleasant look. 
Look at her face. She has a very pleasant look. She, yes, she looks happy because she has a pleasant look. So she looks happy. Yes, you are dropping me an answer. That's really good. She is smiling. Yes, look at her face. She is smiling. She is happy because she is smiling. Let's move to the next question. Have you ever seen the night sky? Have you ever seen the night sky? You can give the answer. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Let us see whether you have seen the night sky. Good, I see your answers. How nice. That means you are nature lovers. You have seen the night sky. Thank you for dropping the answers. So, nature is beautiful, isn't it? When you look at night sky, you can enjoy. I'll move to the next slide. Let's read the poem now. You can go to your textbook. It is there on page 31, but you can read with me as it is on the screen. Flying. I saw the moon one windy night, flying so fast, all silvery white, over the sky like a toy balloon, loose from its string, a runaway moon. The frosty stars went racing past, chasing her on ever so fast. Then everyone said, it's the clouds that fly and the stars and moon stand still in the sky. But I don't mind. I saw the moon sailing away like a toy balloon. So this is our poem. Let us see what poet wants to convey in his poem. Poet has seen the moon. I saw the moon. When has the poet seen the moon? I saw the moon one windy night. In a windy night, he has seen the moon. How? Flying so fast. The poet, I, has seen the moon in a windy night, flying so fast. What happens? All silvery white. The moon is flying so fast. So the light of the moon, silvery white, it is spread over the sky. All silvery white over the sky. Like a toy balloon, poet sees the moon like a toy balloon. How? Loose from its string. If you remember the previous page, earlier I did the activity with a balloon with string, but here poet sees the moon like a toy balloon, loose from its string. Loose from its thing. I'll show you a picture. Look at the poet. The person is looking at the moon. How does he see? Like a toy balloon. Is there a string? No, string is not there. It is loose from its string. That is how the poet sees the moon. Like a toy balloon. Loose from its string. And how? 
a runaway moon. Not only that, the moon is running away. Have you seen moon running away? Right. We'll move to the next part of the poem. The frosty stars, the moon is running away. What happens to the stars? Frosty stars, I'll show you the picture. Look at the stars, look at the frost. Here, stars have become frosty because there are a lot of stars. Even here, you can see the picture, lot of stars. Sky is full of stars. That is why frosty stars. So the frosty stars went racing past. Moon, what is happening to moon? Moon is running away. As moon runs away, the stars are chasing, racing past. Chasing her on ever so fast. Chasing. Have you seen cats chasing rats? Cat chases the rat. Cat runs after rat. Likewise, the stars are running after the moon. Her running after the moon ever so fast, very fast. Then everyone said, all are speaking and telling. What are they telling? It's the clouds that fly. Clouds are flying. Clouds are flying. And the stars and moon stand still in the sky. What happened to the stars and moon? They stand still in the sky. Clouds fly. Stars and moon stand still in the sky. But I don't mind. Who says I don't mind? The poet. I saw the moon sailing away. Poet says he has seen the moon sailing away. But how does others, uh, how do others say? Clouds that fly, stars and moon stand still. I saw the moon sailing away like a toy balloon. The poet has seen the moon like a toy balloon. Harriet, sellam karna balloon bolya kwagi. But there's no string. No luck na hai. We hear two voices, two ideas. Poet looks at the moon flying, sailing away like a toy balloon. But what happens to the stars? Stars are chasing the moon. Others, everyone says, clouds are flying. Stars and moon, they stand still. This is the idea we get in the poem. Let's try to answer some questions now. What is the title of the poem? Title, we say topic. Do you see the topic? Flying. What is the title of the poem? Flying. You can give the long answer. The title of the poem is Flying. You can say the, the title of the poem is Flying. If you want to give the long answer. Okay, let's see my answer, flying. Question number two. What do these words and phrases mean? I have some words and phrases. What do they mean? I'm going to show you the words and phrases. Windy night. We experience windy nights these days. So it is stormy night. Similar word, windy night, stormy night. Silvery white, silver, so shine, shiny white, silvery white, shiny white. Frosty stars, stars, we saw them as frost, 
trusty stars, icy stars, another similar meaning. Chasing her. Who is chasing? Stars are chasing. Chasing her, racing behind. Same idea, similar. Chasing, racing. Sailing away. Moon is sailing away. I saw the moon sailing away. Sailing away. Gliding away. Moving away, we can say. So you know the meaning of all these phrases now. Let's move to the other question. What does the poet say? You can tell with the idea that you come across in the poem, what does the poet say? The moon is flying, the stars are chasing. Do you see how the poet describes? The moon is flying, the stars are chasing. And further you can mention, clouds are there. Clouds are flying and moon sailing away. All these things are also there. Our last question, question number four. Who is the poet? J.M. Westrup. Who is the poet? J.M. Westrup. The poet is the person who writes the poem. The person who writes the poem, poet. The topic or the title flying the poet j m westrup so you can mention flying by j m westrup i think this page is familiar to you it is a page from your textbook page num number 31 poem is coming in that page. We have to read the poem and answer the questions. I think you can easily answer the questions now. Question number one. What is the poem about? What is the poem about? You can read the answers. A, the sky. B, the moon. C, the toy balloon. If you like, you can send me the answer. A, B, O, C. What is the poem about? It is about the moon. Question number two, what did the moon look like? What did the moon look like? A, a toy balloon. B, a star. C, a string. Can you tell me what did the moon look like? A, B or C? Yes, you are right. It's A. What did the moon look like? Like a toy balloon. We have the answer here. Like a toy balloon. Question number three. Name the objects in the sky given in the poem. Objects in the sky. Even the, even the picture shows what we see. And in the poem, you get what we see, objects. What are the objects? Can you mention? I will underline the objects. Yeah. Moon. Then what else? What else are there? Stars. Also, clouds. Yes, good. You are typing your answers. We see 
moon, stars, clouds. Also, you can add aeroplanes, they fly in sky. Question number four. Find rhyming words. Rhyming words. Have you ever noticed rhyming words? Let's see. What are the rhyming words we see in this poem? Look at the word moon, moon, balloon, moon, balloon. Same sound we hear. Moon, balloon. What else are rhyming? Night, white. Night, white. I'll call it differently. Night, white. Moon, balloon, night, white. Are there any other priming words? Yes, see? Fly, sky, fly, sky. Look at this word. Past, fast, past, fast. All these words, they are rhyming. We'll have a look again. Moon, balloon. Night, white, past, fast, fly, sky. They are the rhyming words. Now we can try the question. Find rhyming words. Moon, so we know balloon. Then B, white, sorry. B, night. Night. White, night, white, fly, fly, sky, fly, sky. Last, past, past, fast, past, fast. Now you know how to write the rhyming words. What is the name of the poet? I know you already know him. What is the name of the poet? J.M. Westrup. J.M. Westrup is the poet. Find the suitable words to describe the following. What are the things? Night, white, moon, stars. You have to describe them using the words given. Runaway, windy, Frosty, silvery. Let us take what is more suitable. Night. How can we use there? What word goes with night? Yes. Windy, night. What is the word? Windy, night. Then white. What words, word goes with White. Yes, you can try. Silvery. Silvery. White. Windy night. Silvery. White. Then moon. What moon? Yes, runaway moon. Let's type the word. Run away. Run away. Run away moon. Last, stars. How do they look like? Yes. Frosty. Frosty stars. Now we have completed all the answers. Read again. Windy night. Silvery white, runaway moon, frosty stars. Good. We have completed the activity. 
but there are some more activities to do. Let us continue. 